Which Spanish supermarket is the cheapest? I went to three of Spain's major supermarkets to compare the prices of groceries to determine if there was a clear cut winner. And spoiler alert, it's a very, very close call. So with inflation really high in Spain and in the Eurozone in general, you may be looking for ways to cut back on your budget and save money. And one of the ways that you can perhaps do so is by looking for cheaper items at the supermarket or perhaps by changing supermarket altogether. In Spain, if we look at the supermarket sector, the clear cut leader is Mercadona with around 20 to 25% of the market share. We then have Carrefour in second place that holds about 10% of the market share. And then we have Lidl, which has been up and coming and growing its market share over the time. And it now holds about 5% of the market share, followed by Deer, another supermarket with 5%. And then you have a whole host of others accounting for the rest. Over the past few years, this sector has become very competitive and there have essentially been price wars between the main supermarkets to try and capture new customers. So as someone who likes to hunt for a good bargain in the supermarket, I thought I would go and check this out. So for this video, I went to Mercadona, I went to Carrefour, and I went to Lidl, and I compared the price of seven different items. So my shopping list for this video is as follows. We're gonna look at the prices of rice, milk, pasta, bananas, natural yogurt, bread, and chicken. And just before we do this, in order to get the best deal and to best understand the prices, we're gonna look at the cost per unit of measurements. That means we're gonna compare the price per kilo, the price per liter, for example, for each item. So let's start with pasta. Now, if I go to Mercadona and I look at the cheapest brand of pasta, their own brand, Hacendalo, we can see that it comes out at about 120 per kilo. Lidl slightly undercuts Mercadona with this and has a kilo of pasta at one euro 19. And Carrefour actually matches little with their price, also 119 per kilo of pasta. So we have a two-way tie uh, between Carrefour and Lidl. Now let's look at a kilo of rice. So in Mercadona, a kilo of rice costs 1 euro 15. This is white long grain rice, by the way, that we're looking at here and comparing. In Lidl, you can find it at the same price, so 1 euro 15. And Carrefour ever so slightly undercuts the two of them at 1 euro 14 per kilo of long grain rice. So the winner we have for rice is Carrefour. Now let's look at the cost of milk. So we're going to look at the supermarket's own brands again here. So Mercadona's Hacendado milk. Um, now when you're comparing, you know, skimmed, semi-skimmed or full fat milk, you know, the price per litre tends to be about the same. So we're going to take that as the base reference. So in Mercadona, we can find it at 0.79, so 79 cents per litre. Lidl's cheapest brand, Milbona, comes in at 83 cents per litre. And Carrefour wins it again on this one, 0.78, 78 cents per litre with their own brand. So Carrefour wins for the milk. Next, we're gonna look at the price of a kilo of natural yogurt. Now these come in pots, of course, but if you look closely, again, you can see the price per kilo and you can work out which is the cheapest and the best value for money. So Mercadona, a kilo of natural yogurt will cost you one euro 13 cents. In Lidl, it will cost you one euro and 25 cents. And in Carrefour, it will cost you one euro and 50 cents. So Mercadona is the winner when it comes to natural yogurt. Next on the list, we have bananas. Now, actually, we have a three-way tie here, essentially. So a kilo of bananas, not Platano Canario, which is a canary banana, which is something that's very popular in Spain. We're looking at normal bananas here. And the price was actually one euro 25 in all three supermarkets. So we have a tie here essentially. Now chicken, and this is where we start to see some differences. So again, looking at the cost per kilo of chicken, looking at a full chicken breast, a kilo in Mercadona will cost you five euros and 79 cents. In Lidl, you can find it at the same price of five euro 79. And in Carrefour, this is where you'll find it much more expensive. Now, typically seven euros and 69 is the normal price. However, if you're lucky, sometimes you will find some chicken on offer and you can find it at six euro 25 per kilo. So we have a two way tie on this one. So Mercadona and Lidl coming in with five euro 79 per kilo of chicken. And last on the list, we have bread. Now bread, I found it a bit difficult to compare. So what I decided to do for bread was look at the, the general offer across the board to see if, if any particular bakery at these supermarkets had an offer that stood out over the others. So in Mercadona, you can find a normal sized baguette for about 65 cents. You can also get five 
small medium sized baguettes for about a euro. You can get an extra large baguette for about one euro 45 in Mercadona. Next in Carrefour, you can get three medium sized uh, bread baguettes for about 99 cents. You can get a big long baguette for one euro 10 and you can get a normal baguette of bread on offer sometimes for about 45 cents. And in Lidl, a normal sized baguette will cost you about 45 cents, but you've also got bigger baguettes and the bigger ones will cost you about 95 cents as well. So comparing these three, I determined that Mercadona was probably the most expensive bakery of the three. And then Carrefour had a bigger range of products, but I think that I put Lidl as the winner because it has probably the most stable cost across all the bread baguettes. You can get a bigger baguette for cheaper in Lidl and that is the reason why I'll put Lidl as the winner for bread. So taking all of the cheapest items that we found in this list and if we were to buy them all and make a shopping list. So as a reminder that would be pasta from Lidl, rice from Carrefour, milk from Carrefour, yogurt from Mercadona, banana from any one of the three, a full chicken breast from either Mercadona or Lidl and bread from Lidl. The cheapest combo of all those items would come to 11 euros and 73 cents. And if we were to take the most expensive combo, which would either be rice from Mercadona or Lidl, milk from Lidl, and bread from Mercadona, and everything else from Carrefour, it would come to about 14 euros and 17 cents. And so now to answer the question of which supermarket is the cheapest, now obviously the answer is it depends on the product, of course, but if we were to look across all these items that we've looked at today, and if we were to take price quality into account, then I think Carrefour uh, is a bit more expensive than both Lille and Mercadona. Some people might argue that Mercadona products are a little bit higher quality than Lidl, but I still think Lidl has really good quality products. So for me, I'll put it at a tie. I'll put it between Mercadona and Lidl as the two cheapest supermarkets uh, in Spain right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope it can be of use to you in these times that we're living in. Leave a comment and let me know if you're living in Spain, where do you do your supermarket shopping or what is your favorite supermarket in Spain? Until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next one and take care.